Okay, this is a quick video here to tell you about the uh, differences between a standard joystick and the MagStick Plus. Uh, the MagStick Plus is uh, a little bit different. First, we're going to go through uh, the standard joystick, which is a standard red ball, and it works just fine. It is basically a micro switch controlled, which is on the bottom. You can see all the different switches for the different directions in green. Um, and this is a four-way or an eight-way joystick. You have to choose one or the other, which is how most standard joysticks are all made. You can move your up, down, left, or right as a four-way. Then you, as an eight-way, you have your diagonal directions of pushing to up into each corner, as well as your up, down, left, and right. So what the stick does is it lets you choose between four and eight way by being able to loosen these screws and turn the disc. What it does is it changes this guide plate that's on the bottom and won't allow the joystick to move in the diagonal direction or will allow it to move diagonal. Where this comes in to benefit is think games like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, some of your older games were a four way only game. So if you were to have a stick set as 8-way, you might accidentally hit the diagonal direction when trying to turn, and the game won't respond. It only responds to an up direction. So for games like that on the classics, typically you will use this as a 4-way stick, which is best on the 60-in-1 game board. However, for other game boards, or for another choice, because there is a few games that can use 8-way on the 60-in-1, comes the MagStick Plus. The MagStick Plus is made by Utilimark, and the difference between it, other than the large size, is its benefit of being able to change between 4-way and 8-way. You'll notice it doesn't have a disc on the bottom like the other one does. Instead, it has the spring mechanism with these teeth. And what that does is that will turn whenever you pull up on this stick and the teeth will engage into a slot or a channel that is able to turn and switch the plate on this between four and eight way operation. There's also a switch here that's on the bottom so you can move the switch. But it's a little difficult to do it one-handed. The idea is when this is mounted, you can pull up and then twist it and turn it between four and eight-way operation. The other part of the stick that works is this is a different type of uh, mounting system. The mag stick has uh, what they call like a short throw system. So you're, you notice just to move it is very quick minimal motion compared to a red ball that has to be moved a, a larger distance. They call it a short throw stick so that way you can play your games quicker. Also the MagStick Plus is a magnetically centered stick so when it returns back to center there's magnets that actually bring it back to center where a regular joystick usually will use a spring from underneath. Uh, the difference is, is the mag stick will, longevity will last longer from a magnet than a spring will, which can wear down over years and years and years of play. So, uh, in that instance, you would think that the mag stick is much better um, if, uh, you know, you have to weigh the balance of the cost versus the benefit. The uh, one thing to note is on every installation I've ever found, the mag stick whenever you're pulling up on it is a little bit of tricky to learn to use to switch between four and eight way you typically because when you're playing a game you'll turn or twist the stick that doesn't let the grooves line up so in first thing you have to do which you can't see the bottom of the stick is from the top you have to pull up and turn it slowly until you can feel it pull up more and then you can twist it so that it will kind of like I'm doing right now. I'll do it with one hand to try and show. But you have to do it so slowly that you can get that feel when the groove 
comes in. There it is right there. Then once you got the groove, then you can twist it. Alright, well, that's kind of a short description of uh, how what the MagSit can do for you. I will normally use this with the 412-in-1 board. Um, not so much with the 60-in-1 board, uh, but it could be used with that also. Um, I use that with the 412 because they, you have so much more games on that one that require 8-way control that uh, it would be more much more beneficial to be able to switch between 4 and 8-way on that game board. If you were to use a standard red ball with that game board, then I will always set the standard red ball to be an 8-way. Uh, but that's uh, about all I have to say. If you have any questions or comments about the video, please feel free to post them or message me. Thanks.